My apologies to Nancy Grace. This is not her fault. She ain't coming back. She ain't coming back. She ain't coming back. She ain't. This is some 12 angry men. Pick a foreman type steez. Gavel to the bench. Objecting to these. Better believe. Ask Jeeves. I've seen the fatherless grieve. And the gallery cheer for the chair. My pet peeve. Get free. This ain't court TV. When people go to jail, that junk's real to me. I serve the federal bench, but dog, I fail to see how we hail throwing people in jail so eagerly. Real names, real loss, real pain, and real cost. Don't glorify the guilty verdict of the man's cross. We've lost our collective minds. We think crime is absolved by the crook when she's forced to do time. But it's never unraped a woman or raised the dead. Casey can't be substituted for Kaylee instead. So thank God for American justice blood red. We'd rather let the guilty go than the guiltless executed. Nancy ain't grace. She ain't grace, y'all. Nancy ain't grace. This ain't a fanciful place. Learn to put criminal name with real face. Nancy ain't grace. She ain't grace. So for most of our human history, and I need my clicker, uh, so you're not going to be able to see the really, uh, the really provocative slide of me. Is that it? Are we up? That was criminal name with real face. So for most of our human history, our music has been recorded almost exclusively on one of these. Now, depending on your specific genetic ancestry, uh, your, your personal recording device might have been a little bit bigger or smaller than this one but something essentially like this. For that same period of time, um, our music was distributed with one of these. We eventually developed the technology to reduce and record our music to one of these and to distribute our music using one of these. But it's been a fairly recent development that we were able to merge the recordation of our music and the distribution of our music into something portable, something that we could carry with us. And we're all sort of familiar with this evolution from the phonoautograph to the gramophone to the record to our magnetic tape devices and our multi-track devices like the 8-track and the cassette tape. And then our first digital devices, digital audio tapes and mini discs and compact discs. But all this stuff had to be physically manufactured and made before it could be distributed and typically by record companies and almost always at significant cost both as to time and expense. But today essentially all of our music is recorded as a digital file distributed as a digital file, and then consumed or enjoyed as a digital file. And that development has led to an explosion of self-recording on personal computers and self-publication through services like iTunes and YouTube and Bandcamp. So why does all this matter? Well, these efficiencies in self-recording and self-publication have qualitatively changed the type of music that we can reasonably do. So our music can now cover very time-sensitive material because we can create it quickly and we can publish it instantly. So for the last year and a half, I've been song blogging or creating a weblog song, or what I like to call a blong. <laughs> you, should never, you should never hit those. <laughs> instead, of a instead of a written blog narrative as is typical, I blog cultural and political current news and events in song. In 2011 alone, I published over 80 songs on the day or the day after an event occurred. Songs about Greek economic policy and full facial transplants and my daughter's YMCA soccer team and Timothy Wienergate. <laughs> now you're asking yourself, why in the world would anyone ever want to do such a thing? Well, I think we all have a sense that our music um, can capture a moment or an idea really differently than any other art form or genre. And all you have to do is think back to your high school prom and REO speed wagons. I can't fight this feeling anymore to remember what I'm talking about. Music is the way that we share our humanity and our common experiences emotively. Our news, by contrast, is very clinical. And we all complain that our news has a tendency to strip away the humanity um, of these very serious and life-altering stories that it's intended to cover. And so we wind up uh, watching or reading about genocide and rape and hunger right alongside stories about quote-unquote real housewives of prominent counties and toddler beauty pageants and our sporting events without really ever distinguishing the value of the human tragedy between them. But what if we could use music to make personal, again, our news, 
and to help us to remember that these stories are populated with real people with real lives at stake. Well, this traditional lag that existed between the time when our music was written and recorded and we could be distributed to the world made that sort of time-sensitive commentary essentially impossible. So by the time you wrote your real hip, cool Republican primary song, Barack Obama, Barack Obama would have already beaten the nominee in the general election and no one would care anymore about it. I'm not the idea we're spreading, song blogging is, but I'm sort of uniquely positioned to do it. So my background is in conventional hip-hop music, sort of the golden era of rap. I'm a published writer and performer of more than 20 years' experience. Um, but our lives go on and we get older and we have families to care for and bills to pay. So I'm also a licensed and federal attorney. And so news and politics and policy. <laughs> that was unanticipated. That was not, that was not a comedic break. <laughs> Let me repeat. My job is I'm a, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> So news and politics and policy and law are my passion and profession by trade. So while I'm neither Bob Dylan nor Alan Dershowitz, I can do something with song blogging that neither of them precisely could, and that's write a song within hours of an event occurring with some substantive expertise and then publish it instantly. There's a lot more I'd like to say about song blogging, but the very uh, ambitious and uh, clever people at TEDx thought it would be more impressive if I showed you right here on stage. So we're going to make a song together. We're going to record it, and then we're going to publish it to the world, and so it's going to be sort of like the TEDx Greenville community's very own self-published anthem. So it's going to move very fast, so I need you to be enthusiastic and ready and follow along. We're going to record the first verse right now. From his. Okay, we need three news topics that happened last, last week. We can take Tim Tebow time or something like that if you want to. Say again? Oh, my heavens, I have no idea what that is. I'll just put it in the wrap. Doomsday Preppers, is that like 20, Mayan 2012 stuff? Who, what was what now? What was the third one? Final four. Okay, final four. Obamacare. Okay. Obamacare. What now? Uh, fi fi uh, Obamacare. I think something like that. All right. Okay. All right. When Ted talks, these off-the-head remarks become better than the sum of their parts. This is the sound of a thousand bleeding hearts. Spark a revolution in the arts. Make your mark, but don't stand there. You gotta score March Madness, and this is the final four, and I'm heading to New Orleans right after tonight, and it's like that. I'm grabbing a mic. I'm just a mixture. Wolf Blitzer, Kanye West, and... Spitzer, it's like that. Obamacare, do you dare to regulate? Yo, the Supreme Court mandate. Healthcare, it's like that. And I'm about to state. And I'm bouncing to the rhythm. I'm filling with my passion. And it's like that. You're laughing. It's like heaven. I'm blogging. Worth spreading. Bouncing to the rhythm like that. It's just a given and it's there. All okay. right. Now, now, I'm going to need you all to, uh, to help me out. We're going to do a call and response, okay? So I'm going to say some lines, and then you're going to yell back to me, Ted talks, okay? Can you all do that? So it's going to do something like this. I'm going to say, everybody is listening in, Ted talks. I'm sorry, we got to, wait, sorry. It's got to be quick, like Ted talks. Everybody is listening in, Ted talks. like the universe is whistling when, Ted, Ted talks. talks. Make the complex simple again, Ted talks. When Ted talks, pause, Ted talks. All right, one more time. Everybody is listening in. Like the universe is whistling when. Make the complex simple again. Ted when Ted talks. Ted talks. All right. This will be a disaster. Everybody is listening in. Like the universe is whistling when. Make the complex simple again. Ted when Ted talks. Ted Everybody is listening in, Ted like the universe is whistling when, Ted make the complex simple again, Ted talks. when Ted talks. Ted talks. All right, the hard part is done. Oh my heavens. You all are about to be world famous in 30 seconds. We're going to render this song here.
So this process is sort of a compressed version of what I normally go through. Um, it usually takes me about two to four hours from the time I pick my topic to the time that it's published to the world. Um, and so that abbreviation obviously comes at the expense of some quality. Um, but what's lost, hey, that's, that's not supposed to be so obvious. What's lost in quality is gained with the spontaneity of the creative moment and the benefit of timeliness. And I think you're about to hear yourselves in my cruddy freestyle. So let's do this. Yeah, it should be. Yo, this is Yo, peace this to Ricky, Ricky Saul Worman, Worman, Worman and Harry Marks, Harry Marks and our very own very Mark own Bolick. Bolick. When Ted talks these off the head remarks become better than the sum of their parts this is the sound of a thousand bleeding hearts spark a revolution in the arts make your mark but don't stand there you gotta score march madness and this is the final four and i'm heading to new orleans right after tonight and it's like that i'm grabbing a mic i'm just a mixture wolf blitzer kanye west and spitzer it's like that obamacare do you dare to regulate Yo, the Supreme Court mandate, healthcare, it's like that, and I'm about to stay, and I'm bouncing to the rhythm, I'm filling with my passion, and it's like that, you're laughing, it's like heaven, I'm blogging, worth spreading, bouncing to the rhythm like that, it's just a given, and it's there. Everybody right. is listening in, like the universe is whistling wind, make the complex simple again, when Ted talks, everybody is listening in. Like the universe is whistling when Make the complex simple again When Ted talks We making personal and personal feats Self-publishing right from your seeds It's like the stage of life finally meet When Ted talks is something more than just speech We making personal and personal feats Self-publishing right from your seeds It's like the stage of life finally meet when Ted talks, it's something more than just speech. From the reedy river to the peace, and we delivering our kind of peace. From the Croc Center to Pendleton Street, this is where our town and creativity meet. So, in all the uh, so all in the commotion earlier, we shut down everything, and uh, the um, the blog portion where we actually upload to the internet shut down. So we're a little delayed on this. Well, here you go. Here's your song right there. Y'all viewing this on the screen? There's your song right there. Probably prefer me not to uh, not to actually publish this, but I'm going to. TEDx Greenville gets busy on a live track. Thanks to Wise Bullock. CK and Vaughn, Frank, O, oh, and happy anniversary to my wife. <laughs> okay, y'all are published. Oh, my heavens. So, um, I had a vision of how this would be, and this was not it. <laughs> Song blogging is the grown man convergence of my passions and my expertise. My musical and professional lives come together. And so it's not just this conceptual or technological breakthrough. For me, it's a very personal one. So the only remaining question for you all today is where will the disparate parts of your life and your expertise finally meet? Thank you all. <laughs>